Chef Jason Nunley has traveled the world opening restaurants in such exotic locales as Belize, Spain and swank Beverly Hills. But Chef Jason's roots run deep in Tennessee and he's now returned to grow his family, his home garden and his popular Greenberry's Deli on the public square in Gallatin. Hey guys, welcome to the Green Deli. My name is Gator. Again, we're going to cook green, we're going to live green, build the economy as well as the ecology. To help us, Chef Jason Nunley here from the Greenberry Deli, I understand, in Gallatin. That's right, yes, sir. All right, so we're going to be cooking for you guys tonight. What is it we're going to be cooking? Today we are going to, uh, well, first of all, everything is local Tennessee product. Uh, we're going to be doing a roulade of chicken breast. We're going to stuff it with Tennessee prosciutto, country right. ham, organic baby spinach, and chevrolet goat's cheese. Roulade, you say? A roulade, a very fancy name of uh, for roll. Okay. We're going to make a very fancy chicken roll today. Well, all right, well, how do we get started? Well, here, first Jeff? of all, here we go. We're going to fire on our pan. What we do is generally, uh, it's called ha-ha. Heat the pan, then we're going to add our oil. We're okay. going to heat the oil. We're going to add our product. Sounds good. No, medium, uh, medium. There, I, right? uh, I don't do anything unless it's full bore. <laughs> it's all high right now. So we're going to okay, go full good. high, get the pot good and hot. Uh, in the meantime, as this is heating, okay. we're going to bang out some chickens. All right, I love Gator, this. that's your job. This is my job. But tell us about, you know, uh, I know that you're... You're sort of a southern boy, but uh, a boomerang southern boy. I am. Boy, I, right? I was born in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, I moved uh, at about the age of 12. I've been living in Los Angeles most of my life. Right. I've been out there for the past, uh, well, 20-something amount of years. Sure. And I uh, met my wonderful wife out there. We had a beautiful baby and decided that L.A. was no place to raise a child. Right. Hence the move to Tennessee. So, uh, All right, banging we're out. Start banging these out. Do you want to hit them? Right. You want to get them as thin as you can without... Breaking a hole. We okay, sounds good. Just About like that? It. You got it. All right, good. It's going to well, get messy. LA, like LA is kind of like the green movement's been going on there for a while, right? The green right? movement in Los Angeles has been taking place for several years. Um, as far as the concept of using local produce, sustainable produce, creating as little waste as you can, and recycling as much of that waste as you possibly can. But uh, the move for us to Tennessee was to really take the knowledge that we had as far as providing green food. <laughs> That one's yeah. done. You're good. Okay, we're good. Move on to the next one. Hey, show me how you would do it. No, Essentially, all we do is we're taking a little chicken breast okay. flat, and I just start working it. You're going to get some splatter. That's normal. See, this is how it prepares it. See how his looks versus how mine looks. But essentially what we want to do is get it as thin as we possibly can without breaking it apart. Okay. So that's essentially the finished item that we're looking for there. Yours is going to taste just as good. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> so uh, what we're going to do as we're moving on to the, to the food here, okay. this is a very thinly sliced piece of Tennessee country ham. Really? I slice this. I say, how do you get it this thin? What we do is, is uh, rather than taking the traditional Tennessee country ham, everyone knows they're doing a cross cut with the bone in there. We're actually slicing vertically that large muscle loin off of the bone, right. horizontally then shaving it off with a prosciutto slicer. So uh, this prosciutto here, right. Tennessee country ham essentially, take a couple of these pieces off, you're just going to okay. lay it up on the top there. All right. Now that my pan is good and hot. Wow, I can't believe how I've got is. Uh, just a little extra virgin olive oil here we're going to add to the pan. Okay. This, I've got a fresh parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, and fresh garlic marinade. Uh, so I will make an amount this size every single time that I cook. I see. And you do a lot of the growing yourself. We have, uh, right now, we got three quarters of an acre planted at my house. We're growing, I've got over 100 heirloom tomatoes. I've got 50 heirloom peppers, corn, beans, squash, as well as a whole variety of herbs. The way that I like to cook is cooking with high quality ingredients. Nowadays, sometimes the only way to get that high quality ingredient is to do it yourself. Right. Any local farmer's market around here is going to get you some good product. This here is an organic baby spinach. Okay. I just picked up the road from uh, where I live in Gallatin. This is a uh, green market farm product. Okay. Peter, there's your job. You just All right. toss it around for me. Now, what are you putting in here? This is just a little kosher salt okay. and some black pepper. Once we uh, cook this about another minute, we're going to stick it in here. Okay. Spinach holds a lot of water. This uh, saute process actually is going to release that water. We're going to drain it off so we don't have spinach juice running through our chicken. Now you mentioned that you got uh, a wife and a daughter, did you say? I've got a wife, Anya, my daughter, Madison Louise. Uh, she's two and a half. How much is she learning about living she, green even um, at two and a half? Even at two and a half, she spends uh, most of her time with me either on the tractor or in the dirt planting seeds. Really? She, she truly enjoys the garden and I think even at two and a half understands that uh, Food comes from the ground, sure. and um, <laughs> as such, it's an important concept. A lot of kids don't get that nowadays. A lot of kids days, don't right? get that nowadays. It Correct. comes from the frozen food section or the produce department. All right, how's All right, that? Looking? We're done. Let's take her off. Okay. 
And so what you're doing there is draining the we're juice We're just going to drain some of the juice off right there. Now what I like to do is what's called one pan cooking, and essentially, I don't okay. like cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Let's see. what we're going to do, we're going to saute the spinach in this pan. I just give this little pan a quick wipe. We're okay. going to go back in with some extra virgin olive oil. All right. Just enough to sort of coat the bottom of the pan. And again, we've got our hot pan. I'm going to add my oil. We're going to heat the oil up. Okay. We've now got our chicken breast sort of split out. All right. We're just going to lay this prosciutto Ooh, I like up that. on top. We're going to go and get us another piece of this. You can never have too much you prosciutto. You never have too much ham. This is from Kira, Kira's Kids Dairy out of Van Buren County. Creamed goat cheese, okay. if you will. Chevre is another name for it. Let's All right. grab this little fork here. Okay. You do your job. All Take right. you a big wad like this and stick okay. it right in the middle. Just right in the middle, right you the say. Middle. I can do that much. Now, you uh, obviously mentioned L.A., you mentioned, uh, you know, started in the South, now you're back in the South, but you've been all over, right? I mean, you've cooked in, I, uh, was um, it Spain, someone told me? I have. Part of, uh, part of what I wanted to do was, um, was to travel to a variety of places that I knew the food, at least uh, pretty common grounds for the food. It allows you to see the way that other people live around the world. Now, these are not going to be the prettiest until after we get them in the pan. Now this is the word you were this talking about. What was the word that you used? Roulade. Roulade. This is a roulade, a roulade for the folks at home. Okay. okay. And do I do the same you thing? You do the same thing. Okay. To the best of your ability. Oh so my goodness. Uh, but essentially these little guys, paper thin chicken breasts, are only going to take a couple of moments to cook. Okay. Um, we are going to skewer them with the edges that we've sort of stuck together. We're going to skewer these little boys just like that and we're going to stick them right into the hot oil. Still cooking on high. What okay. we're going to do is we're going to cook about five to seven minutes mm, uh, just great. on this first side. Okay. And we're going to give it a flip. We're going to stick it in the oven. We're going to finish up the rest of our dish. Okay. Tell us more about your uh, restaurant, your Greenberry Deli is what it's called. We, in uh, we own a restaurant in Gallatin. It's called Greenberry's Deli. It is uh, essentially a, a full service soup, salad, sandwich restaurant. We're only open for lunch, Monday through Saturday. But our specialty is all Tennessee product. All right. It is all local product as well as, like you see, you know, we're growing a lot of the stuff in our house as well. For us. Well, obviously, Green Galley, uh, talking about green living, it's important for farmers, it's great for the local economy. Why is cooking green? Why is it such a passion? Because it seems like you've been pursuing it your whole life. I, uh, I have been, I think, cooking green my entire life. Yeah. You know, I was raised on a farm in Huntsville. My grandfather owned a farm there. Um, we've always grown organically. We, we, we had cows, the yeah. manure was sifted yeah. out into the garden, and plants grew out of it. Yeah. And cooking locally... I started to say, do we need to turn we're, it? We're getting close. No, <laughs> okay. we're doing fine. A right. uh, little trick is, when you use a little hot pan and you put a cold product in there, the product is going to stick until it's ready to turn. Okay. The chicken is going to let us know here in just a minute. It's okay. time to flip it. As far as the notion of cooking green, and, right. uh, it was not a new concept for us. In the last few years, the word organic and green has really become pretty hyped and hip. Um, in most cases, it's exactly the way farmers have been doing it here for generations. Now, I didn't hear the chicken talk here. Well, Chef Jason, you said it was going to tell us. It told me. When, uh, when the chicken stops so sticking, okay, when it we stops sticking, we're in the we're in business right okay, now. Good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss just a touch more seasoning on there. Right. We're going to stick this it hot looks pan. Excellent. So we've had the oven all the oven on and ready. I've got the oven at 450. And again, I like to cook on high. Um, the method being, we're going to flash cook it, essentially sealing all those juices. And so while we've got the chicken in the oven, we while are we've got putting the a salad in the together. Oven, we are going to put together a very basic salad. 